Well, hello everyone. This is Vishal here, and I'm going to do a review, or I mean, of my fire, nature, and light deck, which is a rush. You can see, and a, which is a fire, nature, light rush, kind of rush deck. So we have. Two park with the smasher. One mighty bandit, ace of thieves. Okay, park with the smasher. Well, it's a two drop evolution, a very cheap evolution with of power of 5000. And when this creature is tapped, each of the other beast folks in the battle zone gets a power of plus 2000. There is next is one mighty bandit ace of thieves. It is a three drop two thousand power creature, and it is a tap ability. When it is tapped, one of the in one of the creatures in the battle zone gets power five thousand in this turn for this turn until the end of the turn. Next is one cave and radar. Cave and radar is also a three drop two thousand power creature. What is it does is when this creature is attacking your opponent and isn't blocked. Then you may search your deck and take a creature from that deck and put it in your hand. Then you shuffle the deck. Next is four burning means. It's a very cheap beast folk. It's I mean it's the cheapest beast folk with the power of two thousand. It's a very good card. It's basically a, a card without any effect, but it gives you two thousand power for two mana. So you can drop this in the battlefield in your second turn itself. And until and unless I mean blockers are there to stop it, but if there aren't any blockers in your third turn, then you may attack with this creature. It's too over. And it also it's also helpful for building. Uh, I mean, creating uh, more creatures in your battle zone and filling up your battle zone. Next is. Two Storm Wrangler the Furious. It's a beast for evolution, just like Bark with the Smasher. That's a four drop instead of two, which is for Bark Whip. And it's also a power of 5000, so that is the same as Bark Whip. But the ability of this creature is whenever this creature attacks, I mean, it's basically called Seek and Destroy. So what it does is when it's attacking and your opponent has a blocker, you may choose that blocker, and only that blocker can block it this turn. And while blocking, it gets a power of three plus three thousand, so it becomes an eight thousand power creature, and it's basically capable of destroying any blocker on the field, except for the high powered ones. And mostly high powered ones don't come in four drop. Next is <coughs> some fire evils. That is armor blaster values. Three armor blaster values. That's a four drop. 6000 power creature, I mean evolution creature, and it's a human. Uh, we'll show you plenty more humans, which is there in this deck to evolve this into. And it's a, a double breaker. And this arm one and armor blast of Andrews gives 1000 power to each of the other humans in the battle zone. I mean, it does not give the power to itself, but to other humans, it gives the power of 1000. Next is two mini titan gets. A mini titan get is a very interesting creature. I mean, it gets a two mana, two thousand. I mean, two drop, two thousand power, and it also has a power attack of one thousand, which pretty much sums up to a brawler Zyler. But I mean, brawler Zyler has a one thousand power here and a power attacker of two thousand, but it has two thousand here and a power attacker of one thousand. Basically, when you see it, it's it's just like an immortal Baron War, but but due to its power attack of one thousand, it gets an ability this that this creature has to attack each turn if able. I mean, this creature has to attack. It's compulsory for this creature to attack. And if there's a blocker, then it's just gonna hit the wall and it's gonna get destroyed. Which if it has a if you're battling a blocker, which is of power two thousand or more, then there comes. 
another human, cheap human, that is 2 drop, 2 mana, 2000, 2 drop, 2000 power, 2 immortal baron falls. It's a basically a simple card of 2 drop and 2000 power, no ability. And it's a human, so you can evolve it into Arnold Gas of Argos. Then comes another human, that is 2 Blorer Zylers. It's a 2 drop, 1000 powered creature, which gets a power attacker of 2000, which I mentioned earlier. And it's simple, it does not attack each turn if able. And it's a 2000, 2 mana, 1000 card. When it attacks, it gets a part of 2000, so it has a powerful, powerful attack. But when it is, uh, I mean, not attacking and it's stacked, it's pretty much vulnerable because of its 1000 power. So you have to choose, I mean, summon this creature, I mean, choose between uh, these two, this two, and this three very wisely. These three creatures are basically pretty much the same, but you have to choose them wisely because. Then, because uh, each has its own specialty. Okay. Lock on blockers. Well, I put this blockers in this deck so that we can extend the fight a little bit longer, rather than other rush decks which do not ex try to extend the fight. But I have, I wish, I choose to extend the fight so that I can land some pretty big um, attacking creatures to finish them later. So we have a blocker which is four mana, four drop, five thousand. Blocker that's a DN or Moonlight Guardian, it's a guardian, and it, it has a blocker. And this creature cannot attack players, this creature can attack tapped creatures, and it's a pretty powerful blocker for a 4000. I mean, for a 4 mana, as you can see, it's foiled. And there come then it comes uh, Jeel Walker, two Jeel Walker time guardians. These are pretty much very interesting cards, very powerful cards if you can use them because. What it does it so basically it's a three mana, two thousand power creature, and a blocker which cannot attack players but it can attack creatures. But what it does it the interesting effect is when it gets destroyed, I mean when it leaves the battle zone, then you can tap two of your opponent's creatures in the battle zone. So basically it gives you a hefty chance to survive in that turn. And it's also guardian just like the end of the like guardian. Then there's this one mana dropped two blockers that is Vest the Oracle. I mean it's uh, very cheap one mana blocker with a power of 2000. It's a very powerful blocker for one drop card. I mean one drop 2000 it's pretty much worth the deal. And it's a blocker which cannot attack players but it can attack that creatures. Then comes the spells. Spells. First, we have three tornado flames. Well, tornado flames uh, are a pretty good spell because it has a shield trigger, and it and it is uh, the ability of this spell is it destroys a creature with a power four thousand or less. So it is a five mana spell and it destroys a creature 4000 or less it's a pretty good card and it's a shield trigger then comes two searing waves basically this uh, this is a pretty uh, interesting card too it's a five mana same as the other one but what it does is it destroys all your opponent's creatures in the battle i mean that have power 3000 or less so basically if they have uh, they are running a rush deck too then it might be pretty dangerous for them and uh, but uh, there's a string attached that is you have to destroy one of your shield too I mean destroy it as in put it in your graveyard not in your hand and you cannot use the shield to ability then there's one phantom dragon's flame it's, uh, it's only one in I mean I've only put one here and it's three mana shield trigger and destroys a creature with uh, which is power 2000 or less. It's pretty much like a crimson hammer, but a shield trigger version of it. Then we have 
to spastic missiles. The spastic missile, what it does is it's also a destructive spell. It has three mana and it destroys one of your opponent's creature that has power 3000 or less. The shield trigger version of this card is uh, 10 ton crunch, but I'm not using 10 ton crunch here. And then there is Blizzard of Spears. Blizzard of Spears, what it does is like Searing Wave destroys all creatures that have power 3000 or less, it destroys all creatures that has power 4000 or less. But uh, and it has a mana of six, uh, 6 mana and like Searing Wave destroys one of your shield this spell what it does is it destroys your opponents as well as your creatures so you have to choose it wisely and then to use it I mean you have to choose wisely when to use it or else it's a very powerful card for anti-rush decks then I have two dimension gates basically I have two versions of two dimension gates and the graphics are different so dimension gate what it does is it's a two, uh, three mana shield trigger and uh, its ability is that it make I mean it uh, lets you see your deck and take a card from your deck and you have to show it to your opponent and then put it in your hand and then you have to shuffle the shuffle deck then we have a light spell which is three holy ores this is a very interesting spell I mean a very powerful spell which is a game changer in fact it's, I mean, pretty. I, all of you pretty much know what Julio does. It taps all your opponent's creatures. That's a six mana card, a shield trigger, and a spell. A pretty awesome card to have in a rush deck too. Because if it falls under the shield, you pretty much know that you have a good chance of winning. Then we have Crimson Hammers, two, three Crimson Hammers. It's a two mana spell. It destroys one of your opponent's creatures. That is power. 2000 or less. It was simple. It's just like Phantom Dragon Flame but with a mana less and uh, minus the shield trigger ability of the card. Then we have a nature spell that is na Natural Snare. And as a, as a shield trigger, it's 6 mana shield trigger. And what it does is it chooses one of your opponent's creature and returns to the battle zone. I mean, return, sorry, it return, it's, returns it to the battle zone. So you're increasing the opponent's mana, but you're getting rid of a uh, creature in the battlefield. Then we have two Magma Gazers. Magma Gazers are good cards, it's a 3 mana. Uh, it uh, gives power to your creature, it's a power boost card. And it also gives double breaker. So if you have a very cheap card in your second turn, I mean like an Immortal Baron Borg, or a Brawler Xyler, or a Mini Titan Get or Burning Main, and you do use this in the third, this uh, third turn. Then your, then your uh, opponent has no chance of blocking. I mean, it has a chance of blocking it, but it won't have enough powered uh, blockers to block it because usually a uh, two-drop creature has two thousand power average, and if this gives a uh, four thousand power, then it becomes a six thousand power creature with a double breaker. So it pretty much boosts up the creature's power and ability to my magazines. Then we have, since it's a rush deck, this was mandatory, I know you were expecting, we have four Pyrofighter Magnuses. You can drop it in fourth, in three, I mean third turn, and it's a three, ma three mana, three thousand power creature with a speed attacker, that is whenever you summon it, it attacks in that turn itself. And it also has ability that you have to return this creature at the end of the turn to your hand. Now this ability is uh, now this ability you can uh, use it as an advantage because then the other player cannot destroy it because you, it goes back to your hand. So you're pretty much safe with the creature. But then again, uh, there are uh, I mean the disadvantages are that you have to summon it once again in your next turn. And if you if your opponent has some discard spells discarding spells or creatures having discarding abilities so this creature is vulnerable to that so we have four pyrofighter magnuses then comes the power cards the power cards we have first Pomichi steel dragon it's a awesome card it has a seven mana seven thousand power creature that's a double breaker 
and when it breaks your opponent's shield, the shields directly go to the graveyard. Instead, the sh instead of coming back to your opponent's, going back to your opponent's hand and he, him using it, it destroys the shield completely. Then there are two Melwing Sky Terrors. Melwing Sky Terrors are awesome cards for Rush because it destroys blockers while attacking. While attacking, it destroys a blocker. I mean, before it can block, it destroys that blocker and then it attacks. So it's pretty much awesome. It's a 7 mana, 6000 power card. Then we have Kolshak Dragon, Shobu's favorite card. Shobu's from party, so you can say. Uh, so Bolshak Dragon was it's a six six mana six thousand power creature with a double breaker, but while attacking this creature gets one thousand power for each other fire card in your graveyard. So if you have a lot of creatures in the graveyard, this creature can get pretty big and can destroy pretty big creatures. Then we add, then last but not least we have Two magma dragon juggle zores. Two magma dragon juggle zores. What it does is uh, it's a six mana six thousand creature with double breaker, but it has an ability of turbo rush. That is, whenever shield is broken by any other creature in this turn, its turbo rush ability gets activated, and the turbo rush active active the turbo rush uh, ability of this creature is that each of the other I mean each of the creatures in the battle zone gets a speed attack on. So it's pretty cool. That's it for the cards. I mean, for my deck, it's a fire nature light rush, uh, rush deck with a lot of spells. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. Hope you like it and subscribe to our channel.